Okay, so this question tells us that we had two kinds of prizes, a TV or an iPhone. Um, and 200 people were allowed to pick either one um, and buy tickets. Okay, and the key information is that 40% did the TV, 75% did the iPhone, and 30% did both. Okay, so here's the Venn diagram. This box is the universe of things that can happen. Some people bought iPhones, some people bought TVs, and <coughs> and some people who are out here, right? These all these people didn't either. Okay. Um, so we want the percent of attendees that did not get a ticket for either of the prizes. <clears throat> right? So what we can do is say, what's the probability that you end up in outside of the two circles in the box? The whole box is one, so you have one, and you want to subtract out the probability of the two circles, where um, this probability is 40% this probability is 75%, and this probability is 30%. Now if we go to the formula card, we can see that <coughs> right, we want the probability that somebody got a TV or a iPod, iPhone rather, and so this is the formula, right? Um, and it's just probably that somebody did the TV, someone did the iP iP iPhone, and some minus the probability that someone did both, right? And we can see through this picture, right, if we want this circular area, we want the probability that somebody did this, plus this, but we've counted this center part twice, so we want to subtract that out. Okay, so it's 1 minus the probability of TV or iPhone, which is 1 minus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.3. And our final answer is 15%. Okay, so the second question asks us, uh, given that somebody did get the iPhone, what's the probability that they also got the TV? Okay, so we want this. Probability of TV given iPhone. So again, we're going to say the probability, right, so this is the probability that someone got a TV in the universe where they already got an iPhone. So what's the probability of the universe? It's just the probability that they got an iPhone. And what's the probability that in this universe they also got a TV, right? So the probability of a TV and iPhone. Right, and if you want to refer to the formula card, that formula is just right here. Okay, Prob where A is TV, B is iPhone, right? Probability of iPhone, probability of TV and iPhone up here. Okay, so these probabilities work out to be 0 0.3 over 0 0.75. Which is what gives the final answer of 0 0.4. Now here's the uh, here's the fun part. Um, because the probability of the TV given an iPhone is the same as the probability of a TV, we can apply this conditional probability rule for independent events. So if they're equal, right, and they're both equal to 0 0.40%, then the two are independent. 